What's going on guys? Today we're going to be setting up some new rhino iguanas. I'm so excited to finally be putting together a group of adult rhino iguanas. Been wanting this for years. You guys know that around in 2020 I bought two rhino iguanas and I thought it was a male and a female. Uh, well the bigger one which I thought was the male ended up being the female. The smaller one I still don't know if it's male or female. I have it at my grandfather's house. But anyways we'll talk about them more a little bit later on in the video. For now let's go ahead and build them an enclosure. My own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. This is what I have so far. It's been raining like crazy here, so it's been kind of a process to be able to finish this cage. And that's why I haven't recorded a lot of it. I just didn't want my phone getting wet. But right now, I'm just finishing up with the little details, like patching up the small holes in the roof. And the other thing that I need to take care of is this window. As you can see, these guys would be able to get out through here. Do is build them a little bunker here and add a few more hides and they'll be good i'll probably go adding a lot more things over time to this enclosure and making it prettier the other thing that i would really like to add is more plants but that is going to be probably in a future video i'm going to do that a little bit more slowly right now i just want to get these guys in here as fast as i can put the board up here so these guys can no longer escape through here and i sealed up the top completely with all these little clips so there's absolutely no way for them to get out now only one little thing that i want to do and don't mind the trash that's from the enclosure that was right here before i built this one uh, i'm gonna be getting rid of that today hopefully if it doesn't get any worse than this but the weather's not helping so the only thing i want to do is add a little tiny lock here so that I can close it while I'm in here because as you can see it, it decides to open up. I put a piece of plywood on top of all these cinder blocks and this is going to be their main hide. So you can see it goes pretty deep in there. And then I put that little hide in there to see if they'll go on top of it or in there. And I put this one here. This is all temporary for now. I just want to get him out here already. Yeah, the only two complaints I have is the lock and it's very muddy here. I'm going to have to level this ground because unfortunately it's it's more low. So the water collects and it just becomes a muddy mess. So I'm probably going to put some sand and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to either put some tiles or try and let the grass grow. But since there's so much movement in this little area with all these enclosures, it's most likely not going to really work. And like I said, there's a lot of rain. It's starting to pick up again. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to put Dino in right now. I'm gonna go pick him up at my grandpa's house when the rain calms down a little bit and we'll try and put him in here. All right, I got a box. Let's go pick up Dino. So this was Dino's temporary enclosure. It was six foot by six foot. That box I just put in here, this is the one I'm gonna use to take him to my house. Um, this is his hide box, as you can see. So he's been sleeping. Uh, that bucket is where I collect all the rainwater or just get the water from the hose so that I could give them to all the iguanas and all the animals that I have in here. Let's get back to what we were doing. Let's take this guy to his new enclosure. I added the lock so that now these guys can't get out while I'm not paying attention. Well, the rain is starting to pick up, so I'm just gonna put him in here really quick and I'll come and talk about him a little bit more later on in the video. But here is Dino, the rhino iguana. And his new enclosure. The rain is starting to really pick up now. Alright, I know. Get in your hide, man. 
finally some clear skies the rhino iguana enclosure is complete the rhino iguanas are in here i got the two females in as well while i was putting in the females it was raining a lot so i ended up not recording any of it but at least i was able to record a little bit of dinos before it started pouring completely i was just so excited to get these guys all together so i ended up just putting them in even though it was raining i didn't record any of it because i didn't want to get my phone soaked and i wanted to get out of the rain as soon as possible but these guys were actually really enjoying the rain dino came up here and just sat there soaking up the rain as well as the other iguanas they did the, have the hides and they ended up going in it later on but they did enjoy the rain for a little bit they've totally been enjoying this enclosure they've been walking all over the place that female loves sleeping on top of the wire she hangs from the corner sometimes although recently she's been sleeping in that corner more often dino and this female have been sleeping inside of this hide mostly this is actually the one that i got back in 2020 and i named them jay i thought it was a boy but it turns out it's a girl she laid some eggs for me a while ago and i ended up putting her with dino which just licked my back what's up buddy how are you he loves <laughs> licking everything he sneaks up behind me and licks my ankle sometimes yeah these guys are awesome and i'm super happy with them and the enclosure like i said earlier these highs are temporary and i'm actually going to change it up in the next couple of days and i'm going to make a new video on that so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out i'm hoping that dino ends up breeding with the two females so i need to set up some type of container or bins full of sand mixed with dirt so that they can lay some eggs but that's not going to be until the summer most likely i don't want anything to go wrong with the breeding process so i'm just going to set it up this week i've been keeping these three together about two weeks now and they've been getting along so well they have not tried fighting each other at all it's like they've been together their whole lives and honestly i was expecting a little bit of fighting at first but nope none at all i'm obviously going to keep watching these guys one of the benefits of having this enclosure here even when i'm in my room out working on the computer i'll be able to watch them that being said they have been behaving amazingly they've been basking on top of each other and laying on top of each other when they sleep they love being on like next to each other to be honest they get along really well in the last video we ended up setting up this enclosure for my cherry head tortoises as well as my elongated tortoise i ended up adding some grass here as well as moving this piece of wood and the tortoises have liked to go be back there and sleep right now i'm just monitoring them to make sure that it's safe i don't want to see them flipped over or anything if i see that too often i'm going to cover it back up although i opened it up because up there they climb up and they like to hang out on this as well as go back there and when they go back there they end up falling in there and if the wood's there they can't come back in there that's a lot of theirs but yeah uh that's why i did that right now all of the tortoises are asleep so i can't really show you them much there's a few in this hide right here as you can see one is tucked up in that corner another one in this corner and the other three are in that corner but i've definitely noticed that they've been enjoying this enclosure a lot more than the other one they've been a lot more active as well as they've been eating a lot better and make sure you guys are subscribed because next week i'm going to be showing you a new lizard that might be cooler than the rhino iguanas if you enjoyed today's video make sure you leave a like if you didn't feel free to leave a dislike leave some comments with some suggestions for future videos other than that have a great day